Now, all I did was I bought some 10 foot lengths of the half inch electrical conduit, schedule 40, nice and flexible stuff. On the end, it's got a flange, a bell type flange. I cut that off because it doesn't fit in the one inch PVC that I bought. Now, most of the people uh, doing the hoop gardens pound in a piece of rebar and then they put this over it. I decided to go this route with these as I don't like to have those sharp pieces of steel sticking up. Uh, grass is going to grow around here and they're not going to be that visible. I'm going to end up poking myself in the knee as I'm working. So uh, I decided to go this route and so far everything's worked out really good. Um, I bought a 10 foot length and I just sawed it off at every 12 inches and I didn't bother cutting this at an angle. It's easier to drive in the ground straight. Uh, when it's cut at an angle, it tends to want to tilt like that. So this was the easiest method for me to do. Now, if you set all your pegs in and your barrels in just by eyeballing it, it might look good. Uh, but once you put the hoops on it and you tarp it over with some plastic, that's where any little uh, problem you have with having everything nice and straight will reveal itself. What I found works the best for me to keep everything nice and straight and square is I set my first peg and then I run a string out to the distance that I want and set my second peg. Once I had my string, then I just hooked on and I measured equal distances and put in my pipe. Once I did that, I measured the width, measured the width, reset my string, repeated the process. You have a border collar giving you a problem. <clears throat> and once I have all my one inch pipe set, let's just set these up and put that in. Now, this will be the second year with this uh, plastic that I have here. I'm using uh, the plastic that has the uh, nylon strings embedded into it. Gives it a lot of strength. I haven't had any tearing problems whatsoever. But regular old household plastic, I'm sure, will do you fine. Uh, I just took a piece of, this is like about a one by three. I stapled the plastic to it. And I think we're just going to raise it on over. This freaks the chickens out a little bit. Right? <laughs> garden set up and uh, let the sun warm the soil. If you roll it this way, you're going to have moisture collecting in here. Rain, if it rains, it's going to collect in here. There's nothing to hold that from unrolling. By rolling it backwards, it'll support itself and you can give your plants a little air if it gets too hot. Now for the edges, I simply just tuck that excess in there. I pull it tight. I take these clamps here, you can get them at Home Depot for a dollar a piece. <clears throat> now, with very little money or time invested, I've got a nice greenhouse here that will give me an early start in the garden and should produce lots of veggies. Um, this, has been the, this is the second season for this plastic and it appears that it hasn't had any uh, UV damage at all. Um, what I did after the season last year was I rolled it up and I stuck it under the deck where the sun's not going to be beating on it. And I think I'm going to get quite a few years out of it. It was well worth the investment.